What we're going to be going over here is learning or an experience curve and we're going to be working with the cumulative average model or the rights model. And what we're going to be doing in this example, we're going to be solving for the learning rate. So when we're talking about these learning curves here, this is where we start with a new product that we're manufacturing. And when we begin manufacturing the product, we're, we don't have a lot of experience manufacturing the product, so it's going to take us more time. But as we uh, continue to build more and more of that product, it's going to take us less time on a per unit basis or on a total basis here to manufacture the product. So we're going to be looking at two different curves here. And, on, and we're going to be looking at the average time per unit. We're also going to be looking at the total time per unit here to manufacture the product. But we're going to be dealing with two different curves here. And what we're going to be having to do is solving for the learning rate. So with our uh, average time here per unit, we're going to have the number of units across our x-axis here. And then the, uh, on our average time here along our y-axis, those are the labor hours on a per unit basis. So we're going to be basing everything on our labor hours here. So we're really going to have two different curves here. And we're going to be do we could just calculate our learning rate here for one curve, but to get a little experience, we'll be looking at two different curves. So we got two different products that are going on here. So we got different times here. Uh, we This is what you're going to have to know to calculate this learning curve. You're going to have to accumulate some times here. And really, we only need two points on our uh, learning curve here to calculate the learning rate, but the more points you have the better so you can go in and get a good average of what you're uh, working with here. So for our first case here with the average time per unit, we're going to really be looking at for calculating our uh, learning rate here, we're going to be looking at two different points. We're going to look at points where we have manufactured four units here, and then we're going to look at the points here where we manufactured 16 units. Okay, so for our average time here per unit, it's going to be this equation here. Our average time y is going to equal a, which is the cost of the first unit, uh, times the number of units that we've produced, raised to the power of b, which is our learning rate here. Our exponent is going to be our learning rate. So we're going to have two different curves here. We're going to have this red line here is going to be one learning rate curve. And then our green line up here is another learning rate curve. And we're going to be looking at these different points here. We're going to look at uh, where we produce four units here and produce 16 units. You could take any point on these curves for calculating your learning rate here, but we'll just be looking at those two points. Okay, so we're going to be working with the average time per unit here. And we're going to solve for our learning rate here in our equation. And then let's go down here and let's look at our other curve here. And this is a case here we're going to have our total time curve here. And again, we got two different curves here, showing that uh, the red one here is one learning rate here, one product, and the green one is the other product. That matches our curve up above here. But here we're looking at the total time per hours here. So our equation here, and again, we're going to have to solve for B, our learning rate. For this equation, it's going to be X times Y equals A, the cost of the first product, raised to a times whatever number of product up. Uh, product we're producing here raised to the power here in this case it's one plus b here so we're going to still have to solve for our learning right here but this is based on cumulative total labor hours uh, uh, based on these two different curves that we're looking at to manufacture a product so again we're going to be looking at these two different points here and we'll be working with those numbers here quantity of four that we uh, produced here and also a quantity of 16 that we've produced here Two, those two different points, and we're going to solve for our learning rate based on those points here. Okay, so let's go up and let's do our solving. Okay, so this is really what we're working with, our cumulative average learning model here, those two equations that we looked at here. This is for the uh, average time per unit here, and this is for the total time per unit, this equation here. And again, we have to dis, uh, solve for B here, that exponent in those equations. That's our learning rate. And really what B is here, with this uh, with these learning this learning model here b equals the log here of base 2 and it's going to be to determine whatever learning rate we have here okay so let's just go down here and look okay, at so here it is b this is what we have to do b equals log to the base 2 and we're going to have to determine that learning rate here that's what we have to learn that's what b is here okay so the other uh, items in our equation here y here that equals the cumulative average time per unit here. And x, that's a cumulative number of units produced here. And then this is for the uh, average time per unit. And then this equation here, just x times y, this is for the total time uh, for the units that we produced here. Okay, so x and y, we know a here is the other thing. 
This is the time required to produce the first unit here. So that we're also going to be solving for A here. We're going to have two unknowns that we're going to have to solve for. We're going to have to solve for B here. That's our, that's our learning rate, but the learning rate is really uh, included here in the log of base 2 of that our learning rate. That's what we're going to have. To, it's log of base 2, this learning right here. Okay, so we're going to have to solve for A, the time required to first produce the first unit. Let's look at it here. A, what is the time for the first unit? We're going to have to solve for that. And B, that's the learning rate. That's that. It's going to be some percentage that we're working with here. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, what we're going to be using, I'm going to be just using MapleSoft. It's a, a software package. And there's other ones. There's MATLAB, what have you here. But just use a typical software pa package here. We're going to be solving for two equations here with two unknowns. And really, we're going to be working with those. Those are going to select two points on our learning curve here. Okay, I just want to show how to do this here. So let's look at that equation for our average unit time here. This y equals a, which is the cost of the first unit, or time required to build the first unit, times x, whatever units we're working with, and b, that's our learning rate. That's log to the base 2 of whatever our learning rate is here. Okay, so what you're going to do here, uh, really, you can do this longhand if you want here, but or that is you're going to have to put some num uh, we're going to be having these two equations here and then you'd have to convert them over to log functions and what have you and eliminate and doing an elimination between your different uh, 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 equations here to come up with your answers but we're just going to use this software package the idea is here just to understand what you're doing here to solve for your different learning rights okay so let's start with our first case here we're going to have that first curve here where we got uh, for y, that's at individual time, it was 64 here on our curve, and our x, that was at four units. It was gonna take us average time of 64 hours here for four units. Okay, so we've got a and b here that we have to solve for. Okay, so what we have is the other point here, y, it was 40.96, that was at 16 units. At 16 units, our average hour, our per unit here was 40.96. Okay, so all we're going to do is take those two equations here and put them into, in this case with uh, MapleSoft, there's a routine. It's just called solve here. So if you've got a particular software package, you'd have to look for whatever uh, function you have for solving for two equations or two unknowns or any number of equations with different unknowns. So all we're going to do here for our software package, we're going to take this equation here. We'll just go through one of them and then we can follow through here for. So our point here, six y, our 64 I'm showing here, equals a, that's what we have to solve for in our equation here, times 4, 4 units here, 4.0 raised to what we have to solve for, our learning right here, B. And then same for the other equation. Just put it into your computer here, into your computer software, 40.96. Uh, that, that was our Y function. A was A here, and then 16 was our 16 units here. Again, raised to the B here. So what we have to solve for is A and B. A here is the time required to produce the first unit. B is that learning rate. Okay, so we put that into our uh, function here, our solve function in our MapleSoft program, and we uh, enter, hit the key here, and what comes up? A equals 100. That's the cost of the 100 hours for the first unit here. And then B, that's our learning rate, minus 0.3213. That's its solver. The computer solved the package here. Okay, so a negative 0.3213. So really, that's our solution here. Computer did our solution for us. Solved our equations. Uh, two equations here, two unknowns. A, our learning rate here, or excuse me, time required to build the first unit, and B, our learning rate here. So what it's really saying is here that, and then we're, we can check, we'll check our solution here to see if it works. Log of base two here, uh, we're gonna, what, what we're doing here is we're, log of base 2 here, we're going to know that it's going to be 0 0.80 here because we'll go down and we'll do in our calculations here. That's That really, when you when you look at it in these terms, all you're doing is you're taking what power do you have to raise 2 here to, and that's what we got here, minus 3.9, uh, minus 3.9, or 3, minus 3.22. What power do we have to raise 2 here to? And we solved it right here. That's our learning rate. 2 equal 0.80. 
And the reason I know it's 0.80 here, because I've just gone down and just proof here. If you put it into your calculator here, what that that gives you the proof here. But if I went into and just put it into the calculator B and then put our log function, the base two, a 0.80 here, you're going to get minus 3.19 here. Okay, so this is just a proof, just cross-checking what uh, the computer did here to solve for b here, the learning our learning curve, our learning function b here, and b really equals after we if we did our equation here properly, two raised to the minus three point two two, that's going to equal 0.80, and 0.80 equals our learning rate here of eighty percent. So just cross-checked what we were doing here. Okay, so that's the solution here. Now, if I looked at uh, the, and, and they know it's an 80% learning rate here because I worked off that function to begin with. I used the numbers off an 80% learning rate here just to show what's done here. So that was for our 80% learning rate here. So if we went in and we did um, the next, that other curve, that was that green curve up in the, for our, our equation for our average unit term times here did the same thing just put this function here that that first point with that what we got two points on the graph here uh, on that curve here 81 uh, 81 hours at four units and 65.61 hours here at 16 units okay put that in move those into our computer uh, function here for our solve function and then we sell for a b here and then again hit the key here come up with the solution in this case a is still 100 100 hours here to build the first unit and b minus 1.520 here so if i went in here and i just uh, raised 2 to the negative 5 point uh, negative 1.50 here i would come up it's going to equal actually 0.90 here okay so i can prove out what i've done here for our, uh, the Cross-check what the computer did here to solve for uh, B, the learning rate here, minus 1.520, and A here, 100. But for B here, the proof is just this. So if you just put it into your calculator log here, and our learning rate here is 90.90 here. I could calculate, I calculated that by raising 2 to the power of uh, minus 1.50 here. Well, nonetheless, put it into your calculator and you're going to come up with negative 1.520 here. Learning rate, 90%. Okay, so what we've done here for our equation here for average unit time, just cross-checked it, used two different points here on two different curves here. And we were, so, we were able to solve for the learning rate, that B function, or the B exponent here in our function here. And also A, uh, the uh, time to build the first unit here. And we come up with 80% here learning rate for our, our one curve here and 90% for the other. Okay, so this is just how you use the computer software program. So you're going to have some function here and you have to solve, and I got some bracket, brackets in here, some sets here. You're going to have some two equations here, two unknowns, and you're going to be solving for those two unknowns. So the idea is you'd want to, when you're working with these learning curves, you'd want to have some sort of software package where you can solve uh, multiple equations for different unknowns. Okay, so that was for our equation for our average unit time here. And just to go down here and look how, same thing here for our equation for our total time here. Again, this is the waste place where we got x times y here for that cumulative average model equals a cost of the first uh, time to produce the first unit times x, whatever units we're working with. In this case, it's 1 plus b here. And we look at that. So again, we're going to have those two different points. The 256 here at 4 units, put that into your equation, put it into your equation here. 1 plus b here, those different points. And then our second point was 655 hours here. These are total hours here times the cost of the first unit here times, in this case, 16 units here raised to 1 to the b here put that in here same thing just put it into your uh in this case i use that maple soft solve routine here so you're solving for two different two different uh, two equations with two unknowns you're just solving those two equations so you have to use a little bit of algebra here but the computer does it here for you so again hit the button here a is going to come up with 100 here that's the time to produce the first unit and b equals in this case, it's going to be here, minus 3.192 here. And remember, that here we equated to an 80% learning right here. 
based on our raising our log function, or raising two times, uh, in this case, two times minus 3.19 here, 3.22, two raised to the power of minus 3.99 here equals, and if we did that, it's going to equal 80 here if we went, or 0 0.80 here. Okay, but nonetheless, you can put it into your uh, calculator here and cross-check your points here. All right, so now let's just look at our 90% curve here. So same thing here. We're going to have two different points on our curve here. And for this this curve here, we don't really know what B is at this point here. It's three, 355 total hours here for building four units here. And you put that into your equation here, into your, your equation here, 355 equals A, cost of the first unit here, times four units plus one plus B here. And then your other, our other point on our curve here was 1,203 uh, total hours here for 16 units here. Just put it into your equation, solve for A of B, A equals 100, B equals minus 1.520 here. And remember, we calculated that one up here for that 90% learning right here. Okay, so that's what you would do here. I'm just using, I just use numbers off standard learning curves here, 80 and 90% here. But what you wanna do with these programs here, you're gonna have to come up with uh, different points. And you probably wanna check any number of different points on a particular curve here. But what you have to do is just check those different points and look them at, you'd have really two different points or two different equations that you're gonna to have to come up with. Uh, in case of your, you're gonna to have to have some, either, in, on the individual basis, you're going to have to have some individual time to build a certain unit, individual time here at so many units built. And then you'd have to have two different points on the line and then you'd have to solve for it. Or in the case here where we got our equation for total time, you'd have to have your total time here for so many units built. And then you have to know what equation you're working with here. In this case, it was that cumulative average model here. So that's our cumulative, we have x times y equals the cost of the first unit times whatever units we're building here. y is the uh, time here, uh, time on an individual basis times x the number of units we're building. And that x, that's raised to our exponent here. That's our, our actually our learning rate is b here. But when you solve for, when you're taking x times y here, it becomes one plus b here uh, for your total time here. Okay, so that's pretty much what you're gonna do here. Just went through it. Just remember, you're going to have to come up with two different points on your curve. And you might want to check any number of different points here. But just do it in the fashion we've done here. Start out with every, whatever hours you have here. And then times whatever uh, A here. We're solving for A here. Hours, certain number of units produced. And then raise it to the learning rate that we have to, have to calculate here. And I've calculated two here, an 80, uh, these two different curves here, an 80% learning rate and one at a 90% learning rate. Okay, so that'll pretty much uh, go through our typical solution here for solving for the learning rate here. When you're talking about a learning curve here, and we use the cumulative average model here, or the rights model to solve for our learning rate.